Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mesbrex. This is Mesber. Today I have the January catalog right here, 2022. And uh, we haven't done a catalog view on my channel for some time, so I thought, why not? And one thing you notice straight away is 95 new sets. And this might be the pandemic, but Lego usually releases a New Year set followed by a summer set and so on. Uh, there's usually different waves. This is one of the first times I can remember a lot of new sets at the same time, which is good for Lego fans. There's something for everyone. The cover shows the boutique hotel. I'm sure there will be more about it inside. So let's get into it. One of the first things is this Lego uh, Friends set. This is the main street building. It's $199.99 Canadian dollars. So all the prices that you see here, these are Canadian dollars. This looks fantastic. If you are a Lego Friends set, this is an amazing set. Quite a large set. You can make a whole city block with it. I saw the review of it on Jang's YouTube channel. Do take a look. Um, there's quite a lot of details inside and I think at $200 it's not a bad price more friends so one of the things that really sticks out from the friends is their color palette and their selection so take a look at this if I just wanted to make a Chinese takeout at a fair or something this would be something nice so a lot of interesting parts in the friend set in different colors as well so you can see for example this little uh, sticker probably uh, decoration here more you know this is a ship these are some other small sets and even in the ship you see for example a TV so interesting stickers interesting colors that's what I like about the friend set I don't collect it because of the mini dolls um, this is the Lego City and straight away this is a set that I've been eyeing for some time. I do want a hospital in my city, I just don't know where I will place it. And this is one of their best hospital sets in recent time. I really like the ambulance. At 150 Canadian dollars though, it's a little steep. So I might wait until we see some sales, 20% off or so. But it looks like a nice set. I don't really like the police station. Uh, this is not me and you know I have a bias against police stations. I criticized the modular police station last year as well. But this one looks very small. And what is it with these angles? I don't really know. The fire station looks kind of okay. But again, I think this time both the fire and the police, they're kind of small. So I don't know what's happening with that. Similarly, this ice cream truck police chase at 50 bucks and they're shooting ice creams at each other. Interesting story there. I don't know what's going on. This is Duplo, which is okay. Um, I'm not really into the princesses, but one interesting thing is this one. Jasmine and Mulan's adventure. I don't know why they decided to pair them together. Maybe because they're both Asian or, I mean, Middle Eastern Asian. I don't know why. I really like the tiger though here. So this must be Jasmine's tiger. I think his name is Raja. But, um, yeah, this is the only interesting set from this that I would think of. Disney Castle, as a set, it's fantastic. The price is $400 Canadian. I don't plan on buying it. I don't have any place to display it and I'm not making any Disney in my city. These are dots. So then we come to the Marvel. So I recently watched Eternals. It's a very different type of Marvel movie. Um, I'm not going to give a review here, but it's interesting. Um, I went in with zero expectations. So I, I would say that uh, it was, again, interesting. Um, the sets, I don't know, it's missing the Dorito set, which is their spaceship. Um, I like the Celestial here. It's a, it's like a big Mac figure. I don't think I'll be getting any of them because, you know, these are not something that I really have space for in my city, nor in my Marvel's collection. 
this is a fantastic set that for me right now 400 bucks so yeah that's what is stopping me but you know i have other 400 dollar sets this is just something that at the moment i don't really see myself buying but it's a fantastic set i've seen it uh, in the lego store in other people's collection pretty nice this is batman the new movie so we have a lot of sets from that a new tumblr 329.99 canadian it looks really good so if you don't if you want a tumblr you don't have the original one this is something really nice this one looks pretty good as well um let's keep on going these are the mario and the luigi sets my kids are pretty big fan now this is something that i've been seeing that they might like you know so good sets here not for me um i've seen this one uh, a friend has it it's pretty neat and it's it's actually amazing how much they put in the functionality so do check it out online at many of those lego channels they might have it minecraft again something my kids really really love the rabbit ranch is something that i might consider getting for them it's a very decent price and minecraft if you see it has uh, sets at all price levels so this one this is i think their largest one it's 160 canadian dollars there's this coral reef it's 35 bucks there's 50 bucks and the previous page there was 24 there was 40 so all in all this is a pretty decent series uh, my kids really love it now we come to star wars and boy am i glad that i don't collect star wars because things can get pricey pretty quick i've been eyeing this set which is a duel on mandalore mainly because i could use this throne in one of my historical lego sets for my books i will say more on that later but most of these are pretty decent and if you're a star wars collector you can see yourself going for any one of them a lot has been made about the name change so you can see boba fett starship everybody knows what the real name of this is i'm not gonna say it if you're a star wars you know what name you call this ship two very expensive sets this one is 479 and this one is more than almost double at 949.99 again am i glad that i'm not a star wars collector next we come to the modular sets now it's hard to believe but initially when i thought that i'll make a city i thought i will not have any modulars in it to keep things cheaper of course that plan went for a toss I actually have all of them except the boutique hotel. Yes. Even the police station. I got it because it's $269.99, but on Black Friday last year it was $188. So why not? I made some modifications on it, so I'm gonna release a video with what I did with the police station. Each of them, this one is still there. This one looks like it might go out soon. Corner garage is already done, so do get it. They're all good. This one, um, at the moment, I don't plan on getting it. Not especially at $269.99. If it comes on sale, either Black Friday or something, I might get it. It has a peculiar shape, you know. It's, it's like pointed. It's very hard to fit in into a city. But, you know, a lot of interesting features here. Ah, now this is lego titanic in canada it is 799.99 i do wish i had the disposable income to throw down on a set that's 800 bucks just for lego it looks amazing it doesn't look lego-ish you know and that's not a insult i don't want to insult anything but it looks like a collector's model that is not lego lego usually identified with a children's toy and this looks really worth that price and you need a big display shelf to go with it this one again at 170 dollars just for a pickup truck i don't know like it looks good but i don't think it's worth 170 dollars um i am into soccer but not as much as that i would spend so much for a stadium now if they made cricket stadiums i might buy it but 
you know, not too many people would. So I see why Lego doesn't make cricket stadiums. They don't even make American football stadiums. These are soccer or football as it's known everywhere else in the world. Um, this is from last year. Pretty decent set. They say it's now hard to find. So if you like that, do get it. I like this set just for this alone, the Hubble. Um, let's talk about this less because the good movie, great set, don't apply the stickers. Lego Friends. Now, I do have this one, the original 21319. I did not buy the apartment set. Despite being a big Friends fan, I just think, you know, first of all, these are too big. Like, this is not one set. It's like two sets joined together. It's pretty big. Hard to display. And even if you stack them on top, you got to buy other stuff. Like, many people made the sit complex around it. I don't know. It's just something that you can play with it. Hard to display. Not too much. Uh, you know, like, if you're a huge fan, yes. But, again, for me, this was more than enough. Seinfeld set, yes, if you're a big fan. I'm more of a Friends fan, but I can see why people would buy it. Very decent price. This medieval blacksmith in Canada, it's $199.99. And one of the best sets from last year, from 2021. I would say actually this is 2021's best set. So skipping over Sonic, skipping over this idea set. Let's talk about the Home Alone set for a bit. In Canada... This is 349, 350 bucks plus tax. It's a very decent set, but take a look at it. If you just build it and display it, it's pretty big, first of all. Like this whole table, like it's pretty big. And then it's just a building. That's it. If somebody comes and they haven't seen the movie, or it's not immediately recognizable until you tell somebody, then they're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, the Home Alone building. All the stuff is inside, so I don't know if it makes for a good display set. So that's my one criticism about it. Like all of this stuff, you know, when you open it from the back, all the details. Like, okay, open it from the front also. You're not going to display it like that. You're going to display it like this. So yeah, that's something. The piano, the typewriter, again, you know. Too expensive for just display. The piano doesn't really play, the typewriter doesn't really type. But hey, it looks good. Uh, we started the Technic section. I'm not really a Technic fan because mostly once you put things together, you can't really take it apart. It's hard and I'm not into big Technic, but I'll tell you one thing. Look at this set. This is an RC buggy, $179.99 plus tax. Is it worth it? That's something you know, you have to say that this is just a remote control car. 30 bucks, you can get a remote control car. Yeah, it's not Lego, you don't build it up, but still. Architecture sets, I really love it. One thing I find myself glad is that I've been to all of these places except Tokyo. So, I really like the Singapore one, and I think they're decently priced. It's a more premium series, so you can expect, you know, the 79, 69, no minifigure. So that's kind of hard to justify also. The London one is decently, 49.99. It's kind of smaller though. Um, I don't know why the Singapore one is 80 bucks, but there you go. Um, we're coming to the end. So I'm going to skip over the Chinese New Year sets this time. I, contrary to most... Lego fans, I don't think this series was that good. I mean, there's lots of minifigures here, but it's like four, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different, you know, sets, dioramas. That's what this set is. 100 bucks, 12 minifigures, very decent parts for price. So this is actually better than this. All this set is, the Lunar Ice Festival at 149.99. This is just a big frozen lake. So... Unlike last year, which is the Spring Lantern Festival, that was an amazing set. This year, it doesn't catch the eye. Um, this is Ninjago. I'm not too much into Ninjago, but I really like this, which is the Dojo Temple. 
129.99 ninjago is always good value for money um yeah this set the temple of endless sea it actually reminds me of atlantis kind of some similar figures but yeah ninja action ninja gardens this is a new set that everyone is talking about 199.99 the city of lanterns has a monorail of sorts again you know if you have a chinese part or a asian part of your city this will go pretty well there then we come to monkey king and again this is uh, something that i don't know too much about i don't collect it i really love this set the majestic tiger and i do want to get it just waiting for a sale at toys r us or mastermind toys 64 if it's at 50 dollars i'll get it and everybody knows about this by now very anatomically correct i have this set it's very nice especially if you modify it a little bit great addition to a beach set and finally you know there's brick heads and botanical sets wait for either boxing day or um, some other clearance and then you'll get it black friday these are always on great sale so that was it for the catalog of january 2022 highlighted by the boutique hotel do let me know which set you're looking most forward to getting i would love to read your comments and if you find my videos useful do please like share and subscribe definitely helps the channel this is mesba take care stay safe and happy building